Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Junior and we've got Abdul. But don't just sit there, my wee green beans. Come on, let's get disco dancing. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! We've got Junior, and someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, who's Bobby? That's right with Kai. Bobby. Hi, Granny Murray. What's been going on in here? Well, we've been doing some disco dancing. What you yeah. mean? Well, a bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> but now, Kaisy, we'll okay. do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up in as many colours as you can find? Good idea. Oh, like Come on, Bobby. Oh, very good, Bobby. <laughs> Did I tell you we've got a wee treat laid on for Kai this evening? Oh no! Well, we're going to look at all the city lights in Tina's taxi. Oh, that'll be brilliant! I tell you what, don't let Kai take off his gloves and leave them behind. He's always doing that. Oh, Bobby, you're such a fuss, but don't worry. Did I ever tell you the story about when I was in a taxi and I was halfway around the journey when I realised there was a pet python snake in the seat beside me? You must have been terrified. Well, no. The snake was more terrified than me. It realised I wasn't its real owner, who was a famous princess who was visiting River Sea Fingal. And she left her poor pet python behind. When I went round to pay for the taxi, I realised I'd been sitting on another pet python the whole time and I hadn't even noticed. Which just goes to show, where there's one, there's usually another. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Granny Murray, that is a tall story. Well, a long and slithery one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Claude. I think he's wearing more clothes than I own. And that is not an exaggeration. <laughs> Oh. oh, wow! I didn't know there were so many colours! Uh -huh. <laughs> well done, you guys! Brilliant job! Here you are. It's for you, Mummy. Oh, thanks, Kai. Um, is it OK for me to take this to work, Granny Murray? Of course you can. It might brighten up your night. Oh, thanks, Granny Murray. Right, come here. Give us a hug. Mm, and I'll see you in the morning. Sleep tight. Come on, Bobby. Now remember, where there's one, there's usually another. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way Which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Oh, hello, Digger. Hello, Drain. Oh, hello, Love Post. Hello, Drain. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. for helping me get to work, but now I've got to get busy. Yep, it's time to change into my work clothes. <laughs> oh, 
all dressed and ready to go. Cookie! Oh, hello, Dr Juno. How are you? All right, thanks. Except... Go on. Well, my head's a bit chilly. I lost my woolly hat. Oh, no. I think I left it on a bus. Would you mind looking out for it? No, of course not. Um, what does it look like? Oh, here's my green scarf. It matches the hat. OK. Well, I don't think there'll be any problem in finding your hat, Dr Juno. I'll find it, I promise. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, I'll see you later. Bye. Ah. Oh. I wonder how my bright boy is doing. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, look at all the weak twinkly lights, Kai. They're beautiful, aren't they? Looks like we fairies dancing. It's great, isn't it? It's so exciting in this city. Are you warm enough, darling? That's good. Have you got your gloves on? Oh, well done. You'll be toasty warm. Your mum will be pleased. <laughs> I'm thinking of you, Mummy. Hello there. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, I was just wondering if when you're uh, cleaning the bus tonight, you might take a look for one of my gloves. <laughs> what is it with everyone losing their hats and gloves on the buses these days? Well, you see, I had to take my glove off to get change out of my pocket to pay for my bus ticket, and I think I must have left it lying around somewhere. <laughs> OK, Mickey J. Um, what does it look like, this glove of yours? Well, it looks just like this. <laughs> well, in that case, I don't think there'll be any problem with finding your glove, Mickey John. I'll find it, I promise. Ah, oh, thanks, Bobby. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> <sighs> Crumbs, look at the time. I'd better get on with some work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming bus. The day away, swinging to the city, looking pretty and radiant. The hubcaps gleam, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares, leaving then arriving. She will get you there. This bus is stopping, dropping, picking up and putting down. This bus is shining, it's the talk of the town. And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under, running round and scrubbing up. She really is a wonder. Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight at its sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. Oh, hello, Rudy. Oh, Bobby, I'm so glad it's you on duty tonight. I've done a terrible thing. Don't tell me. You have left your scarf on the bus. No, Bobby, I... I, I your Bobby, gloves I, on the I, bus? No! Oh, good. <laughs> I've left 11 pairs of gloves on the bus. 11? Yeah! What are you, some kind of octopus or something? Oh, I'm not mucking about, Bobs. Oh, what happened is I took Jack and some of his friends on the bus to see the city lights, and then when we got off the bus, I forgot to check that they all had their gloves with them. If you can find them, please, please, will you let me know? Um, well... We have had an awful lot of gloves left on the buses today. You better tell me what colour they all are. Oh, right. Um, there, was, there was two blue, um, four black, two white, uh, two pink. Oh, and a stripey pair. Well, I can't see them in here, but I've got a couple of other boxes to sort through, so I'll make sure I find them for you, Rudy. Don't worry. Oh, Bobby, thank you very much. I'll call in later. Bye. Okay. Uh, <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs> Right, I could do with a brew. 
<laughs> I wonder what my little dazzler's up to. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Right, your turn, Kai. Let's see if we can get one in the pot. Go on then, Mr. Tiddlywink. Oh, well done. Oh, oh, fantastic. <laughs> mm. Oh, did you see that? You pinged that right in my cup. <laughs> that was funny. Well, we'll have to tell Mum about that in the morning. Thinking of you, Mummy. Hello again. Did you manage to find my green woolly hat? Oh, do you know what? I've collected all the lost property, but I've not had a chance to sort it out yet. Can you come back in ten minutes? Oh, no worries. I'll see you in ten. I'd better sort all this lot out. I've been working hard cleaning buses all night and I've collected all of this lost property and now I don't know where to begin in sorting it all out. Where did the time go? At five o'clock, I took Kai to see Granny Murray. She told me that she was going to take Kai on a trip in a taxi later on in the evening. I said, fine, just make sure Kai doesn't lose his gloves. At six o'clock, Dr Juno came to see me. She told me that she'd left her woolly hat on the bus. She gave me her scarf, which is the same sort of colour to help me spot it. At seven o'clock, Mickey John stopped by. He told me that he'd left a glove on the bus. He gave me his other glove to help me spot the missing one. At nine o'clock, Rudy came to see me. He'd taken a group of children on a trip to see the lights and between them they had lost 11 pairs of gloves. I promised I would try and find them all. At 10 o'clock, I had a look at all the lost hats and scarves and gloves that I'd picked up on the buses. But there were so many and they were all in a big muddle. Remember, where there's one, there's usually another. Where there's one, there's usually another. Of course! Most things will be in pairs. A, a pair of red gloves or a matching green hat and a green scarf. So, I've got to match the pairs and that's where my sorting will begin. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time I'm Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna do it She's going to do it I'm gonna beat that Here we have one green hat to go with one green scarf. Ah, <sighs> Mickey John. One red glove to go with your other red glove. And now, Rudy, we have two pairs of blue gloves. One, two, three, four pairs of black, two pairs of white, and two pairs of pink. Oh, and a stripey pair. Oh, thanks very much, Bobby. I don't know what I was done with you. Thank you. Thanks to you, Bobby. Thanks very much, Bobby. Thanks again. Absolutely marvellous. Thank you very much. Well, that's that sorted. Hey, I hope you haven't lost anything, Kai. Night, night, sweet angel. It'll soon be morning and Mum will be here to take you home. Oh. I miss you, Mummy. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hi, oh. Mummy. You look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we should sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thank you, Granny Murray. Clever boy. 
And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Where there's one, there's usually another. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, you'd better be off. Come on, you. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and turning. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in as many different colours as we could find because the children were playing a dancing game. Bobby came to visit with Kai. Later on, we went for a trip all around the city in Tina's taxi. Kai loved seeing the lights. I did too. We saw lots of different colours and they all looked deliciously bright against the dark night sky. Back at home, we had a nice cup of cocoa to keep us warm. Kai was playing tiddlywinks and he managed to get one in my cup. <laughs> Later on, he made sure he had his full set of gloves, hat and scarf before he went to bed. He wanted his mummy to be pleased with him for keeping everything together. Bobby remembered that I said, Where there's one, there's usually another. And that helped her match up the lost scarfs and hats and pair up all the gloves. Oh, what a Busy time we had. Oh, what's this? A tiddlywink. <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to skip in river sea things, river sea things, I love to skip in river sea things, river sea things, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, <laughs> where the fairy folk stands the blue. Time to call on Granny Mom.